Welcome to my video on the designing, the building, and eventually the sailing of my 7 meter Sharpie. In this video, I make and install some more panels. I check the outboard setup requirements, and I bush some of the horizontal holes in the transom while I can do them before the cockpit sole goes in. And I run out of fiberglass again. I've just been down on the yacht to check that this panel will match the as built boat and it does so what i do next is go to surface surface flattening unroll developable developable surface and there it is there and i'll rotate it Need that point there. And we'll get rid of the old one. Delete. It's Monday morning. One of the jobs I did in the weekend was prepare this little bulkhead for the main sheet attachment, um, which is a bit unusual on this boat compared to most because it's got going to have two blocks in this area coming up above the um, cockpit here, cockpit sole, one for each side of the sail. And they've got to be separated, of course, because the um, jammers on them will, um, otherwise they'll interfere. And I've got this U-shaped bracket that I'll get cut up, cut in stainless steel for attaching the uh, main sheet lower block to. And I've got these extra holes here because um, I'm going to go for the minimum purchase because there's two sails and I'm second guessing, trying to guess how much load there'll be on them. Um, it's easy to see what you use for a normal boat, but for this one it's a bit different. So you're not exactly halving the load by having two main sheets to a two-ply sail, but I don't want to have too many sheet uh, running lines as well. So in case I blow it and, and the purchase is not enough, I can run an extra block down here and um, add to the purchases. So today I'll be glassing, trying to get both sides done if I use the fast hardener. And there'll be a cleat glued to the back side and once again, it'll have bushes in like this. So there'll be four bolts going through this mini bulkhead. Why do I consider a grinder an essential part of doing any fiberglassing job? Because I do this every time before I start cutting. <laughs> Just a light lick, but it makes all the difference. The other thing I got done on the weekend was glassing on this corner. All the way down aft. And that corner in there, which was a bit of fun. And of course the inside is done as well already. So we're getting there. I'm just having to work out the details before I make up the um, sole for the cockpit and get that glued in. Those bolts there, um, they go through wood. And what I'm thinking is for peace of mind, or strength, compressive strength, um, I'm going to have to bush those as well, I think. Which is not going to be easy because they're horizontal. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with that. <clears throat> I may do what I used to do with chop fast and engineering. Um, like on a stern tube on a ship or something make up a bit of a reservoir that I can pressurize and have an escape hole out the other side to um, fill the holes with thickened resin these ones will be easier I think I'll just um, tape tape them off after I've drilled the holes bigger and have some filler holes on the top here
this is a really good time for me to have a look at how the output's going to function in this position, what I've allowed for and not allowed for, and um, my first thing that I'm looking at here is this um, footprint here, where my, I want to, when I get out of the dinghy I want to be able to stand here and it's barely wide enough at the moment, especially if you had some shoes on. Um, so I can probably trim down the side here a bit. I also want to be able to put bolts through here so I need to drill holes there and bush those holes like I'm going to do here. And the power cable which goes to the inside of the boat. The upwards going to run off a 48 volt house battery. No battery on the top at this time. So going to have to have a gland in here so that's going to need bushing. Um, the other thing is been having a look at how this is going to function. Um, the seat's going to be here of course, not across there. And what am I going to do with it when it's not in use? Um, I think it'll barely lay down flat as it is because of the seat being here and I don't want to make the seat further forward. So how I think it'll function is It'll possibly rest on there, and I think that's all right. Just have to lift it up a little bit to use it. It's not all the way down, of course. And when it's not in use, it'll be quite straightforward. I think it'll just flip up like that. That'll sit here, right here, and that'll work quite well, I think. Get it back in use, quite quick and easy. No problem. At first I thought it would have to lay out, the tiller would have to lay out that way and it would be underneath the um, rudder tiller. But no, it'll work. Okay, well the starboard side is glued on. There's an overlap of course. And it's fairly very firm. Um, there's a, only a single layer on the inside of 400 gram per square meter um, cloth, double bias, and one on the outside. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking is I might, I was only going to put two skins on the horizontal surfaces that you might jump on or drop something on, but um, it's probably just as easy to, no, well, not really just as easy, but I might put an extra skin on the sides as well because potentially when the boat's heeling over, if someone falls across, that's quite a high impact. And um, so I'll get a better idea when these horizontal panels on are on because that'll stiffen everything up incredibly again. I'll definitely be putting a second skin underneath here. Um, the corners, the corners are going to have to do a bit differently than I would do with Polonia. When I, when I round up this corner, what I'm thinking I'll do, because if you go anywhere near this foam with a sandpaper, it, it rips it out a bit. It's hard to get a nice clean radius with it. It's a high impact area on every boat I've had. This is the corners always suffer. And um, so what I'm thinking is I'll chamfer at 45 degrees and then I'll put filler in the corner and um, maybe a fairly hard kind of filler, even glue filler. Radius that, which will be so much easier to get it nice and it'll be so much better impact resistant and it may even mean I don't have to put two layers of cloth around that corner. So that's what I'm thinking at this time. So I'm looking forward to knocking off these corners and um, I've nearly run out of glass again. So I'm trying to order some um, more double bias for the rest of the boat and trying to second guess how much I'll need. Probably a minimum of another 50 meters, half a roll, which is much easier to career as well. So that's where I'm up to. This panel in here is nearly done. I'm just gluing on the wooden backing bit on that. And um, so towards the end of the day, I might be able to tack that in and maybe even cove it. 
Um, I've got to do those holes. So we're getting there. So close. It rose up those small vent holes, which is really good. And the bottom holes went a lot better than I thought they would. As I showed, it's popping out the other side, coming through the vent hole.